For this modeling tip video, let's consider initial stages in ICPR. Initial stages set the water surface elevation at the onset of a simulation. Initial flows through the model network are then calculated based partly on those initial stages, so care should be taken in setting the most appropriate values for your model. Initial stages do not define the bottom elevation, nor do they define the node storage. Rather, the initial stage sets the water level at the start of the simulation. So it's okay to specify initial stages at the bottom of the node, or at a control elevation, or anywhere above the physical bottom elevation. If you happen to set the initial stage below the defined storage, ICPR will simply adjust the starting elevation at runtime and issue a warning message. If no storage is defined in the node data form, the program uses the lowest connecting link invert as the initial stage. Setting initial stages incorrectly is one of the most common ICPR mistakes. So first I'll show you examples of each of these three methodologies. Then at the end of this video, I'll show you how to recognize a common initial stage mistake. The link path profile tool will be used to illustrate the three methodologies for setting initial stages. Note that the time indicator here tells us that this is the start of the simulation. This flood profile shows a static condition methodology. With this method, initial stages are set at control elevations that hold water back. Storage below the control elevations is assumed to have been filled during previous rainfall events. The dry condition methodology assumes there is no water present in the drainage system at the start. To establish this dry condition, each node was assigned an initial stage equal to the ground elevation. This flood profile is dry until we click play and allow the simulation to progress. The base flow or dynamic method assumes that water is moving through the drainage network at the start of the storm. You can see in the flood profile here that at time zero, the channel and pipe links already have water flowing through. To implement a base flow condition like this, you must have a source of water at time zero. If you don't have a source of inflow, the system would quickly drain to a static condition. When putting together your ICPR models, make sure to assign initial stages following one of these methodologies. Initial stages for static and base flow conditions can be determined using either a hot start simulation or by running a drawdown simulation and cutting and pasting the final stages from the results into the node data form. Now let's look at one final example where a mistake was made. In this scenario, most of the nodes are properly set at controlling elevations to implement a static condition. However, the link profile shows us that the initial stage is too high at this location. This initial stage should be corrected, otherwise there will be a large slug of water flowing through the network at the onset of the simulation.